Amol Galcia, the sugar detox coach. I make quitting sugar easier. Today, I want to talk to you how much sugar can you eat after a sugar detox. How do you make that decision? So congratulations, you made it. You finished the sugar detox. You have been sugar free for X number of days. And now you're trying to decide how much sugar can you actually start eating. Most people cannot wait to get back to eating some sugar after a sugar detox, especially if it was your first uh, sugar detox. But at the same time, you're wondering how much sugar can you eat to not ruin the progress? Most people cannot wait to get back to eating sugar, especially if it was your first um, sugar detox. But at the same time, you're wondering how much sugar can you actually eat to not ruin your progress? I'm going to try to help you answer for yourself this question uh, in this video. Before we start, I want to tell you that quitting sugar is really a straightforward process. You may quit sugar for a certain number of days, say for 10 days or two weeks, and then go back to eating sugar uh, again and realize that you're eating even more sugar than you ate before the detox. Then you are not feeling good again and you start um, uh, the detox again. And you may repeat this process multiple times until you finally go sugar free forever. Sugar is very addictive and always find its way back into our bodies. Our brains are constantly looking for excuses to consume more sugar. And once we stop eating added sugars, all of a sudden we start eating more simple carbohydrates, other carbohydrate foods, and even fruit. But on the other side of this sugar battle is um, your decline in health. And the worse you feel, the more you realize that you need to conquer this sugar demon. As a sugar detox coach, I have developed a 90-day sugar detox program where I teach my clients to quit sugar for good. You can apply for a free coaching session in the calendar link below. Now let's get back to the topic where we discuss how much sugar can you eat after you have successfully finished a sugar detox. And my first question to you is, are you still craving sugar? You should not crave sugar after a sugar detox. If you are still having cravings for sugar, then you need to stay sugar free until those sugar cravings fully disappear. Because of that, I don't really care for uh, short sugar detoxes, 10 or 14 or 21 days some people recommend. This is not enough time and most of the time once you stop eating sugar, after a little while you, your cravings come back and you start eating more sugar than you uh, were before you started that detox. This is why I suggest that people stay sugar free for four to six weeks, at least four to six weeks before uh, you attempt uh, adding sugar again into your diet. For most people, their cravings naturally disappear after four to six weeks. So hang in there, you're gonna do good. Most people that come into my um, Stop Sugar Cravings Facebook community uh, say that they want to stop eating sugar for health reasons and for weight loss reasons. So before you reintroduce sugar back into your diet, you need to keep those reasons that you stopped eating sugar for in the first place in mind so you make the right decision. So what are your reasons for quitting sugar? If the main reason you wanted to quit sugar is uh, related to your health, your decline in health already, then you need to be very careful about reintroducing sugar back into your diet. Even one small serving of your favorite dessert can bring back the symptoms of the disease for which you stopped uh, eating sugar in the first place. And the reaction can be immediate within first uh, one to three hours after consuming the dessert, or it can be delayed reaction uh, where you will start feeling the symptoms two to four days after. Your symptoms can be anywhere from elevated blood sugar and not feeling good because of that. It can be skin rashes, digestive issues, and whatever else uh, you usually experience because of eating too many sweets. And yes, even one dessert can make you feel that way. If it sounds like you, then unfortunately you may have to stay away from sugar and carbs for the rest of your life. But trust me, this is not the end of the world. You can still enjoy life without sweetened food and um, heavy carbohydrates. If you are otherwise healthy and don't have any uh, diseases related to sugar consumptions and just need to lose a few pounds, 
then um, I have good news for you. You may enjoy a few treats um, and uh, still continue losing weight and feel good. Many people do good with one cheat meal a week. Only one cheat meal a week where you can enjoy your favorite dish, whether it's uh, heavy carbohydrates, pasta, uh, or maybe ice cream or a piece of cake, but only once a week. This is actually good for your mental health and will help you stay sugar-free and carbohydrate-free for the rest of the week. This method especially works good after our 90-day sugar detox program because during those 90 days, you reset your taste buds and uh, you lose uh, the cravings for sugar. So the only reason you're going to eat that cheat meal is to treat yourself, to feel good that you are still not excluded completely from life. And maybe your reason for staying away from sugar is to prevent future health problems and uh, weight problems. There are a lot of people out there who realize the dangers of eating sugar and too many carbohydrates, and they wanna stay ahead of the game to prevent future health problems. Some people know that they have genetic predisposition to have diabetes, high cholesterol, or even cancer, and they wanna stay uh, ahead of it and prevent um, these diseases from developing too early in their life. At the same time, you may wanna prevent uh, weight gain, premature aging of the skin, and even your internal organs. I am in this category of people uh, and uh, I wish there were more people like us who realize the dangers of sugar and want to stay away from sugar early in life to prevent all those possible problems. Another thing to consider when going off of your sugar detox is what sugar-free means to you. I broke down sugar-free diet into different levels and uh, you can consider which level you want to be on after your sugar detox. Level one is no added sugars in your uh, processed foods and drinks, as well as uh, added sugars if you drink tea or coffee with sugar, there should be no added sugar. This level is great, especially for young people who are still healthy uh, and uh, wanna prevent future health problems. Level two is avoiding all sugars in all its forms, all high glycemic foods, including uh, white flour, uh, corn flour, white rice, potatoes, uh, anything that uh, acts like sugar in the body. This is the level that people with some advanced health problems should choose. Uh, you can still eat your carbs in forms of fruit, um, low starch um, veggies like sweet potatoes, um, beets, tomatoes, and other things. Level three is the low carb diet. It's a low carb version of the uh, level two where you avoid all high glycemic foods, but you also limit the amount of carbs you get from fruits and starchy vegetables. That means that you need to watch the carbs in fruits and veggies you consume to keep them low. And level four is a keto and the carnivore diets where there's almost no room for carbohydrates in your diet at all. With the keto diet, you need to keep your carbohydrates very low, under 20 grams a day. And the carnivore diet has almost no carbs whatsoever, especially if you avoid dairy. Going very low carb, especially long term, is not always necessary and sometimes can be even dangerous because it can mess with your hormones, especially if you are a woman. Low carb, keto or carnivore diets can be very helpful short term and can help you heal inflammation and uh, lose weight. But they should not be practiced for long periods of time. I just want to share quickly this book with you. This is a book by Dr. Mindy Pels, Fast Like a Girl. Uh, and this book teaches about the low carb um, and keto diets and intermittent fasting for women so you don't mess with your hormones. And there's a lot of um, valuable information here. So now it's time to enjoy your treat. You earned it, especially if this was your first real sugar detox. But remember to keep your portion small and savor every single bite of that dessert. And as you enjoy your treat, uh, I want you to think of a few things. Does it taste too sweet? Many people find their first sugary desserts um, after a detox, they find them too sweet. Uh, was it worth the calories? Is it still tasting as good as you remember it? Consider all these questions. I also want you to notice how you feel after eating that dessert shortly after and a few days after you ate it. Because sugar can wake up some unpleasant symptoms in your body that you forgot you had. 
I want you to learn from it and make adjustments to your diet in the future accordingly. So let's summarize what we learned from in this video. Number one, before you reintroduce your sugar retreat, remember the reasons why you decided to go sugar-free in the first place. I also want you to remember that quitting sugar is a process that can take sometimes a lifetime. And as long as you're always uh, improving yourself and uh, doing better than the previous time, uh, that's all that matters. Make sure you avoid sugar for at least four to six weeks before eating sugar again. Keep your portion small and enjoy every bite. Observe how you feel after your meal, uh, one to two hours after you ate it, and then two to three days after you ate that treat. And remember that sugar cravings do come back, especially if you uh, start eating a little bit of sugar here and there. But uh, remember that you can repeat this process and uh, go to a sugar detox again. My 90-day sugar detox program is uh, designed to help you stop uh, sugar cravings for good because it addresses all main reasons why people crave sugar in the first place. I invite you to watch the video that the link will be under the video uh, about the sugar detox and schedule a free, no obligation consultation to learn how you can go sugar free. See you then.